Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element will be silver. Now, uh, silver is a common component used in electronics. Now, um, these relays um, are an especially good source of silver. Um, inside of each one, there are some silver contacts which we will be able to get out. Now, I've removed a bunch of these over here off of a circuit board already. But um, this one here, you can see there's a black box here and a um, black box over here. Now those are the relays, um, so you're just going to rip those off with like a pair of pliers or whatever you might have. And um, then we're going to open them up and see what's inside. Um, so I'll be back when I've done that with a bunch of them. So you can um, see that we've now taken apart these. Um, and if you look in here, um, there's these little contact points right here. Um, so in between those contact points, there's thin... Uh, piece of silver in there. Um, it's really hard to see on my camera, it won't focus, but um, there you can see that little dot there. Uh, that little dot is actually silver. So each of these contacts is silver. Some is more than others, but um, we're going to try to remove all those little dots and get our silver. Um, so I'll be back when I've done that. So um, you can see that this is uh, the little silver buttons. Now I couldn't actually get them off of the copper I only got um, a couple. Those two there, that's pure silver. And then there's one right there that's pure silver. Uh, the rest of them were really stuck into the rest of the copper. And um, there's no way to manually really remove it. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, get some nitric acid, which we made in a separate video. Or you, if you have your own, you could use that. And we're going to drop these in there. And it'll dissolve off the copper, but leave behind the silver. And we'll um, have our pure silver, which we'll be able to pull back out of the um, nitric acid leaving the copper in the solution um, and then if you're curious about like all these coils here um, it's copper so you could save it uh, I'm just going to toss it out because uh, I already have plenty of copper um, but anyhow uh, so let's move on to the next step okay so um, I stuck our silver um, and copper pieces well, um, because they were stuck together so I stuck them in um, this nitric acid that I made now this nitric acid that we made is actually quite weak, um, but it still dissolves copper fine. So um, I just sit it in a warm place for uh, a couple days, and um, all the copper's dissolved. But since this nitric acid is weak, um, if the silver has not uh, dissolved nearly as much as the copper. So all the copper is now gone, and we're just left with silver. There's probably some silver in solution, um, but a majority of the silver is still in solid form. So next what we're going to do is um, we're going to just filter it off to get out all the little silver pieces and we're going to go outside <clears throat> or maybe we'll just do it inside um, and we'll melt it down into a little bead on uh, my propane torch um, and then save the solution because if there is some silver dissolved in it to it I'm adding a teeny bit of hydrochloric acid to precipitate out some silver chloride which we can also process if there's no silver chloride in solution well then that's just fine also um, so anyhow, I'll be back when I've filtered this off and have the little pieces of silver ready to melt. Okay, <clears throat> so I was actually unsuccessful in melting down the silver on a blowtorch, because the blowtorch simply doesn't get hot enough. They were like about to melt, but not quite. So I'll just bring out my arc furnace, but it's nighttime right now, so I can't do it right now. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow, but in the meantime, let's see if there was any silver chloride at, or silver dissolved into here at all by putting in a bit of hydrochloric acid and precipitating out silver chloride. Now this hydrochloric acid will turn this into aqua regia which can actually dissolve gold. So we'll probably save this. Oh, turn color. Here I'll be back and tell you if anything's gonna happen. Okay, so nothing actually happened. Um, it doesn't appear that any silver actually got dissolved into solution which is actually a good thing. But the blue color, which has now turned green because we added hydrochloric acid, this indicates copper in solution. So I'll figure out a way to get the copper out. Um, but that, I'll maybe do that in another video or just not show it at all. Um, it'll probably be another video though. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to go melt that down. And um, I'll show you that process. Um, and then we'll see what this final yield looks like. Uh, so I'll be back tomorrow, I guess. So, you can see that I have my whole arc furnace set up here, and that little dot in the center there of the brick, you know, there we go, zoom in, that's um, all the little silver pieces we collected. So, um, they're ready uh, to be melted down, um, so that little pile there's in perfect position in the center of a nice brick, which shouldn't melt under the heat of this thing. 
Um, and I haven't tested out this brick yet, so it's a great opportunity to test it. So um, anyhow, I'm going to fire it up and we'll see how it does. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, so we're back inside, and you can see there is our small little bead of nearly pure silver there. Um, so after that long extraction process, you can see we have a nice, beautiful bead of silver there. Um, it looks quite nice. There um, is no brick stuck to it as I thought there would be. Um, it came off quite nice and easily. Um, and anyhow, so there's how to get uh, pure silver metal out of uh, computer relays, which you can find in nearly any circuit board. Um, normally the more co complex circuit boards, such as a computer or something. Um, but anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope you can make some silver like I did. Okay, thanks. Bye.